writer's block is, is it is a real thing and it's a bastard right it's not just that there's no ideas you're fragmented you're broken you're distracted the solution when it came was uh, uh the free write it's uh designed specifically for one purpose you can write you can't check your email you can't surf the internet you can't do anything else it is designed for sitting down and telling a story for unlocking the creativity i used to be a very prolific writer i used to be able to do a novel in a month for something like warhammer and then we we got word that my father was dying and and it changed everything my my concentration went my ability to focus to to create and be creative and i spent easily six months trying to find a way around this to, to break the habit to to somehow piece that concentration back together and i saw i saw this um i think it was it was either kickstarter or indigo indiegogo for um this thing called the hemming right i thought well, that's that's pretty cool that that seems to do exactly what i want it to do but then it disappeared of course it didn't, it changed its name and it got rebranded re and changed and, and just made better. Um, and I got to the stage where I, I think, I think Dad had been dead for about six months and I'd written about 300 words when my, my free write arrived. And I remember turning it on and thinking, you know what, I'm, I'm just gonna do whatever I'm gonna I'm gonna make something up not a book I'm supposed to be writing not anything that's planned or in the contract and just see you know because they say it boosts your concentration it makes it easier see what I can do and I think I turned it on and I wrote 300 350 words in about 15 minutes and that was the first writing I'd actually done probably in six months and I thought well, okay that, that, that wasn't too painful so then I uh, thought you know what I'll do another 15 minutes tonight and I, and I sat down and I wrote another I think 400 450 words in the second 15 minute pass and suddenly I'd written nearly a thousand words which actually was not a bad day's total in half an hour 15 minutes after breakfast and 15 minutes before bed um, I thought, well, okay this is this is this is fun so I put a little note up on Facebook and uh, and did the same thing the next day and, and the next day, instead of 300 words, it was closer to 500 in those 15 minutes and, and, and 900 in the evening. And suddenly I had, you know, just shy of 2000 words, which is about three, what, six pages of the book, five, six pages um, from nothing. And then the question was, can this continue for a week? I decided, you know what, I'll, I'll, I'll keep it steady. I'll keep it the same. I'll do 15 minutes ago and and not panic or stress or worry about where it's going or what's happening um, and at the end of the week a man who hadn't written a word in six months had written close to about seven and a half thousand words without ever feeling like it was work and 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 it was a it was a big a big step a big change um, so I'll give it a go and uh, I, I wrote the first line uh, on a, a book called The Hollywood Incubus by um, by Rowan Casey, which is a pseudonym shared by a lot of us, um, knowing that I had about six or seven days to write a forty-five thousand word book. Now that's uh, that's a lot of words for someone who hasn't been writing, um, and I banked everything on the free write helping, and. Uh, It worked. We we have a, a full finished novel, well, a short novel rather than novel. Um, and what amazed me was I had thought because I couldn't delete, because I couldn't, you know, struggle and and and, and polish those words and get exactly what I wanted, and it was just about flowing and, and getting into a groove. I had thought the finished product would need an awful lot of editing and a lot of fixing. Um, and the reality is, I think it took about two days to edit and tidy up um, and it was as clean as anything I'd ever written. So I tried to finish the first book on the laptop. And from writing comfortably one and a half, two and a half, three and a half, four and a half thousand words in a day without breaking a sweat, I wasn't 
getting a thousand words down and it was it was bizarre it was as though there was some well like a mental disconnect of, of, of it was work when I was at the laptop and it was just liberating when I was at the free ride um, so I I ground on to finish that first book on the laptop with with the excitement of knowing the next one I was gonna do start to finish on the free ride and and it took me oh, it took me about three months to do a hundred and twenty thousand word novel start to finish on the free ride I, I would do 300 words an hour and sit in the chair for eight hours or ten hours to get 3,000 words I would I would put bum in chair and just grind it out the interesting thing is when I work on the free write I can generate comfortably a thousand words in about half an hour as long as I know where I'm going so to sit and 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 just write for the joy of writing is is, is kind of special and it, it takes us back to you know when you're 15 16 17 years old and we're falling in love with the idea of writing um and i i i have i have sung the praises of this machine so much i have bullied friends into buying it when they were struggling i have I've said, oh, you know, the great thing is you can sit in the garden because the e-ink screen means the sun doesn't reflect on it, so you can work in sunlight and enjoy life. I've argued that it's a lovely keyboard for writing on because these, you know, these Cherry MX keys, they've got a really lovely clack, 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 like old school typing. Um, when people have gone, oh, but the screen's really small, I've argued, actually, you know what? You only need to see that much because it stops you dwelling on what you've done and makes you think forward. Um, and for every floor I've naturally found a positive and for me it just it works and then literally overnight that first session just rattling out a few words it was it was like uh, you know the the spigot was turned and the creativity just started slowly to come back um, and I know when I was working on on the second book on the big book um, This one, White Peak. I I was writing at times, you know, eight thousand words in a session, and and doing eight thousand words, nine thousand words, seven thousand words, day after day after day. So it was it was rapidly growing and and becoming something of substance, um, and. Sure, I mean, it needs editing, absolutely. But that's what the other computers are for. Um, but the, the reality is, again, it needed far less than I thought it would. The, the free write didn't just save my career, it helped me you know, rediscover who I was.